super excited because today we're gonna show you how to ride a horse. Oh yeah, baby. get our horse, Bubba. And while we're here, why don't we meet some of his friends? Come, Come on. on. Here's Bubba, he's over here eating his food. Come on. First thing we're gonna do is put on his halter. Put on this halter, the first thing we're gonna do is put a lead rope around his neck for some control. Then we're gonna stick his nose right through here. Get the whole way. And go just like this and buckle it up. Now we have his halter on, we're gonna take bubs and get them all grouped up. is we're gonna tie up our horse with a quick release knot. The first thing we're gonna do is throw our lead rope over and then make one loop and pull it through. And then we're just gonna keep pulling it through to make a chain. The reason why it's called a quick release knot is if you're ever in a situation where you need to get free, all you do is pull right here and you're ready to go. Now it's time to groom up our horses. We're gonna make sure his coat is all nice and shiny. Put all this dirt on him. We're gonna get his feet all nice and clean. So the first thing that we're gonna do is just drag our hands down to about here and push with our side and they will eventually lift up the hook just like that. And then you don't wanna pick this middle part right here because they're pretty sensitive. It's actually called the frog. Even though it doesn't look like a frog, it's called the frog. Just wanna avoid that area and get all the dirt out. And the reason why you wanna get the dirt out is because, I mean, what if there was a rock? It would probably hurt their feet. So you just wanna get everything out. Next, we're gonna do his back feet, and they're a little bit different. So we're gonna still push and reach down. But once we grab it, you can either put it on your knee, or you can just hold it like how I'm holding it, and then stuff really gets packed in here, so you really wanna pick hard. Again, not to touch the frog. Ah, there we go. And there we go, all done, good boy. Now I'm gonna give him just a quick brush in his tail to get all the dirt out. And you never wanna stand directly behind the horse, so we're gonna stay a little off to the side. Now that our horse is all nice and clean, it's time to saddle him up. First thing we're gonna do to saddle him up is put on his saddle pad. This is gonna prevent his saddle giving him any rub marks or anything, it's just a really nice cushion underneath. And this right here is called his weathers, and you want this little hole to pretty much line up with it. See, perfect. Now we're gonna put on his saddle. So heavy. So we're gonna use two people, ready? One, two, three. Ugh. This can be up to 50 pounds, so it could be really heavy and you might need a second person. Now that the saddle's on, we're gonna take the saddle pad right here and we're gonna push it right up into the pommel to give his wither some room. Next thing we're gonna do is tighten his cinch. So we're gonna take this, which is called a latigo, and we're gonna take this end part and stick it right in the girth. Now we're just gonna loop it again because we have such a long latigo. We're gonna loop it one more time, just like this. Good boy, bubs. Now that he's all saddled up, we're gonna need to be able to control him while we ride, so we're gonna put in this bridle. The first thing we're gonna do is take off his halter and we're just gonna wrap it around his neck so he can't get away, and then we're gonna Wait, we're, I'm gonna put my finger in his mouth and he's gonna open it all nice for me. And I'm gonna put over his ears really gently. I'm gonna take this and look at it. And there you go, very handsome. Now that the bubble's all ready to go, we're gonna get our other Wild Adventure Girl horse named Dakota and we're gonna do the exact same thing. So while the girls are trying to go get Dakota, I'm gonna go try and pet this chicken. It looks so flabby. Okay, little worry. Since the chicken won't let us pet her, why don't we go learn some more facts about horses? Come on. Did you know that horses have the largest eye of any land mammal, and they have nearly 360 degree field of vision? Really? Wow, that's four times greater of a range than a human has. Yep, but there are also two specific areas where a horse cannot see. What areas are those? 
Horses cannot see directly behind them. That's why when you're walking behind a horse, you always want to let them know where you are. Right, that's a good point. You don't want to accidentally get kicked. The second area a horse cannot see is directly in front of them. They use their whiskers to help them feel what's in front of them. Wow, that's amazing! There's some awesome facts that we learned, but now it's time to go get Dakota. This is our other water adventure horse named Dakota, and he is a Nez Pierce Appaloosa. Now we're gonna get on, but before we do that, we're gonna check our girth to make sure it's all tight and looks good. You always wanna make sure you wear a helmet in case anything happens, you're always protected. I'm gonna be getting on Dakota with a mounting block. The reason why we do this is so when I get on, it doesn't hurt their back. I'm going to get on from the left side, and I'm going to take my left foot and put it in the stirrup. And then I'm gonna just swing my leg over and get on. The whole time while I was getting on, I was holding my reins, so I would always have control. When you're on the horse, you always want to make sure your feet are down. And where this line is right here is about where you want to have your foot at in the stirrup. Next is important to learn how to hold the reins. When you hold the reins, you want to take your three middle fingers and grip it with your pinky on the outside and your thumb down like this. And make sure when you hold the reins, you give them room so they can stretch out. Sit it nice and straight with your shoulders back and the horse. That's for the fun part. Now it's time to ride your horse. I'm going to nicely ask my to walk, then trot. When you ride a horse, it's important to know how to stop the horse or you're going to go on forever. So a really cool way of stopping a horse is leaning backwards so you butt in the seat so when they stop really hard, you're not going to fly off. You're going to lean your feet forward and you're going to pull and you're going to go whoa. Now that Dakota's all warmed up, we're gonna lope. All that a lope is is just a little faster of a trot and a different change of rhythm. Now it's my turn to get on. Bella was going to left for everything, so now we're gonna have to do it the other way. Come on, Bella. Of fun. Now we're gonna untack him and give him a treat and then put him back in the pasture. Back to the barn. Time to give Bub some nice food. All right, so in here we have oats, grain, and a couple of his supplements with a little bit of joint charge just to help his joints move nice and great. So give this to Bubs. Don't worry, Dakota has food too. Don't worry, Bubs, we haven't forgotten your treat. Go, Dakota. Good boy. Overall, we had a lot of fun teaching you guys how to ride. And if you haven't already, make sure you pat that subscribe button, ring that bell, and smash that like button so we can see you on our next wild, wild adventure. Bye! Okay, bye, Bubba. Bubba! Oh gosh, I don't know which one it's. Uh, uh, okay, I got a picture. Um, none of them look like him. Bubba, come here. I see you. No, I'm supposed to ride you, but maybe with this one we don't have to. Okay, Bubba. I promised your mom that we would ride, so we gotta ride. Bubba, is this relaxing? I'm supposed to massage you. I think this is what I'm supposed to do. <laughs> breathe in, breathe out, breathe in. Bubba, let's do some stretching. Oh yeah, bring it up. Good. Now to the other. Let's get on a spoon. Which one? Not that one. Not that one either. Maybe I'll just give him a little bit of everything. 